All right, YouTube, it's G here. I just wanted to show you guys a cool trick uh, because I searched near and far on YouTubes, on car forums, and everywhere else, and I couldn't find a solution to this question. So my initial question was, how do you remove the dash part of a Ford E250? Um, there was no instructions anywhere. There were instructions for Ford F250s, the F-Series, and also like um, the Expeditions and Explorers, but nothing for the E150, 250, or 350. So this is a 1998 model. As you see here, I've already removed the front dash, which looks like this. Basically what you have to do is get yourself uh, one of these little pry bars. You can, I bought mine from Harbor Freight, comes in a set. And when it's attached, you just wanna go under here and just pull up and try to pull up and if it's too loose in this part you'll know that you just have to move a little bit to the left and the right and you're going to be popping out gently these these things right here so they're like little metal or plastic clips you don't want to pull too hard because then you'll actually like rip this part this bottom part and it won't sit in there all the way so what i did is slowly went around in my little pry bar here, then went like this to pull it up to see where the next bolt was, then moved it here, then moved it over and over, and it's the same way all the way around. There's about, let's see, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven of these little clips, and then what you're going to do is disconnect the uh, cigarette car cigarette lighter. This is the bottom one. This is the top one. I have no clue what this is, but I found it, and then you'll be able to remove your, your side dash if you want to call it that now the trickiest part of all is this side here because this is the dashboard cover if you guys can tell and there's clips in here too but the, the way the clips work here is that this side will be looped in let me see if I can get you a better picture yeah this side here will be clipped in and there's a middle one and the bottom one the way that you get them off is not pulling towards you, it's pulling away from you. Because on the side here, this side has its own clips. One right there, wait, sorry. One there, one there, and then up there. And uh, when you push it away, it'll release the whole dash and you will actually have your result. Uh, some of the reasons that somebody might do this, if they wanna adapt a button, like I have my button here for the light bar that I have in front of my truck pretty cool um, but I'm actually also adding a voltometer that I'm adapting right here it looks ugly I know um, but also for a radio installation so when you want to install a double din with one of these trucks you're gonna have to actually mount like these uh, bracket locks on the side of both sides of here so nobody steals it and when you also put your outside like bezels it's gonna lock into this part so you're just going to want to take a look at it and make sure how that goes you can also do other modifications like my modification right now is to remove the top lighter which is my 12 volt source for charging and stuff and I'm going to replace it with two USB uh, permanent car adapter and going to wire it that way so it looks ni nice and neat and professional also once you remove it, I don't know if you guys can see here, but there's a lot of grit and dirt in the in the vents themselves. So this is a good time to clean it out so you're not sneezing and coughing while you're driving around. Hope this video helps you guys. Have a great day.